So now underway, very accustomed to this. Hi guys, this is James Hedigan, back to town. <laughs> He's back. We came. Oh wait, I don't know how to start it. <laughs> Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. If you're new, my name is Grace, and today we are back in Sheffield because it's Bucks Indoors weekend. I did a vlog last year up in the top corner. I did two vlogs, actually, but both in the top corner. I'm here with Cardiff Uni Athletics Club. I can't wait to compete. We have a really good team this year, biggest team we've ever had. I think there's 25 of us coming up to compete. And, yeah, I can't wait. Today is Friday. I've got six meters of hurdles today, and i got long jump qualifying tomorrow and relay heats tomorrow and then sunday we'll see if i get through see what's gonna happen all decked out in my cardiff kit and can't wait to compete i'm racing quite late at like quarter to four i think my heat is so we're leaving to go to the track in 15 20 minutes yeah i can't wait got ribbon in my hair as always got up the quack yeah so that's my vlog intro hopefully see lots and lots of the team this weekend in the vlog Everyone's super excited. Can't wait to go out there and smash it and have fun. So yeah, if you guys enjoy, please give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you at the track. <laughs> so the camera's definitely gonna fall. Got new tops. Well, we have them for outdoors. I vlogged outdoors, but never actually edited the video. So maybe one day you're gonna see some of that. But look at these cute tops. We did all in 18. This is gonna work. Very cute. I've got my whole kit bag is just basically black and red clothes, which I love. So glad we've got nice colours for, <laughs> for Cardiff Uni. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm so excited. Also, Drive to Zavai came out this morning, so we're watching that in bed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Team. <laughs> Good evening all. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> the Box Vlog. <laughs> We're here with Nils Rem. Box fourth placer. Yeah. How's it feel? Um, I mean, not too bad really. Yeah. It's quite all right. Oh, yes. This is the water interview. <laughs> Any more words? Uh, I'm just, just gonna, you know, focus on tomorrow. No and I've heard, I've heard Rory has some questions for you. Uh, what was the best part of your race? Uh, like the last 20 meters, because I remembered how to run. We're a bit rusty over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now underway with this penultimate heat and Grace Morgan going really well from Jasmine Clark. Clock stops at 8.64 this time. Well, there was real determination on the face of the Welsh heptathlete Grace Morgan there to come through. Another very accustomed to this stadium. The first semi-final of the women's 60 hurdles. So Jessup, again, away so well. Morgan trying to chase her down. But Jessup, very much clear. Morgan also going through in second place. 8.34 seconds. Well, Jessup always gets away well. Smith trying to get alongside. Jody Smith has now gone past Marley Jessup. And Jody Smith is the Bucks champion. So multi-talented. 8.23 seconds for Jody Smith and it's a massive lifetime best. Hello, good morning. It's day two. It is Saturday. Yesterday, I think I put all the race clips in, but I came fourth. I came fourth at Bucks, which is awesome. Like, don't get me wrong, that's like, I'm so happy with that. I ran a cool PB and won one hundredth off my PB in semi final. Got faster each round, and yeah, I'm proud of myself. The girls ran amazing, top three. They were super awesome, super fast. <laughs> yeah, happy with how I performed. Obviously, gutted to miss out on the medal, but three rounds in three hours, semi final to the finals, forty minutes. So that was tough, but I'm proud of myself. Day two now. I got long jump qualifying at 
five to one and then we got the relay heats last one of the day so much fun with the girls can't wait a bit nervous for relay be good fun yeah so i was gonna say i'm proud of myself i love hurdling it's my favorite thing to do so i wish i could race again today <laughs> over the hurdles but all the bucks is pretty good so i've got to give myself some credit there and always great to prep cardiff uni yeah so i will see you at the track Bucks all or nothing, here we come. Let's go, Duncan! Let's go! Hello. Hi guys, this is James Hennigan, Bucks captain, and I say my 3K today was good, it was good execution. Uh, Spirit of the Dragon, blah, 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 blah. Look at that fit. Finalist, come on Rory, let's go, long yes. jump. Long jump, rubbish jumping, but we'll be better tomorrow. Uh, and 4 by 2 Yeah, both relay teams qualified. We're leaving now with, I don't really know what's going on there. Um, but made the, made the relay final. I still shock the system, but <laughs> team harvested tonight. <laughs> And then final day tomorrow. Long. <laughs> oh, all a bit full. Oh. Going to Harvester. You excited? So excited. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> <exciting>. so sarcastic. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I've never been to Harvester. I've Neither have I. Oh. I feel like you're such a good So, we're in Harvester. <laughs> Annabelle, Bye. the past two nights, we've eaten in Nando's Sorry, and Wagon Mamas. <laughs> Annabelle has never eaten any, any of them before, so it was the first time it's in all three. You've never eaten harvested. in Nando's. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's never eaten oh, 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 in Nando's. 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 Mild. <laughs> 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 exposed. It was really good. Yeah, the sauce was a bit spicy, but it was like a seven out of ten. And then I was like mamas. Wagamamas I really liked. Um, it, again, it was a bit spicy. Wait, you strike me as a Wagamamas goer. <laughs> that really surprised me. It was like massive. <laughs> I got really full as well. But... What did you have? And a bottle of ramen. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Um, one of the girls last night spilled her whole ramen down her leg on the floor. I put a photo in. <laughs> <laughs> she had a bit of a man. It was so funny. He's back. We got vinegar interviews this year. Vinegar interviews. The budget's gone up. <laughs> Sarsen's vinegar. Very upper class. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is the uh, first vinegar interview of 2023. I'm here with uh, the recent sub two minute man. Last year, I think we called him the Radisha of Cardiff. How do you remember that? You watched it back, didn't you? I actually did. Yeah. I actually did. I actually did. How does it feel to now be in the same minute as Radisha on your event? <laughs> uh, it's good, yeah, it's good. I'm feeling good. It's a good race. The experience gain. Yeah. What, what would you take forward to next year? What am I being next year? You know, <laughs> no. For those who don't know, I think like pretty much everyone's leaving this everyone's year. Leaving. Would you like a sign-off message to the fans? Well, we do have Bugs Outdoors. Do you want to save it? I'll save it Bugs Outdoors. Well, like you well, Harvester. Post day two. Hello, Aaron. Are you all right? Today, you yeah, it was all right. The um, heats went all right, but didn't have it in the semis, unfortunately. Yeah, still fun. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a blowout, but... Hello Josh, semi-finest of fresh air, let's go. Yeah, happy. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how I did. So I wanted, my hope was to get to the semi-final, to stop it. But I knew that realistically, I need to run a 10 second PB to make the final. I'm a, and you never know. <laughs> I literally, I got dropped after 50 meters. My legs can't move that fast. <laughs> Blind anyway, out the fly. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so last year, what what did I do, Hendog? No, let's get a Johnny Nelson version. Last year, we had 
what was it, five pieces of clothing that you don't like? My five most disliked pieces of clothing, and so I'm one after in that this year. I'm doing my five most disliked clothing brand. Oh, yes, please. Right here. Got number one. Number one is safe. Morning, day three. We're all here. I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you alright? Yes. Are you excited for the final? Uh, yes, very excited. Got relay finals later as well. <laughs> yeah, relay um, finals No, it should be a good day coming up. We've got people in the UK finals, men and women. Women's 1500 meter final. Our relay finals. Switches are on now. Fresher Josh, how are you feeling this morning? I had my Greg, so I'm ready to go for my long run later. Mine's through game at the start. Yeah, ends is going. Should be a good race. Really soon as well. Need to warm up. Exciting times. Is that all supported? Whoop, hello. <laughs> champion how are we feeling uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good um, step up this one well, what we did we had a 1500 meter race it was good fun yeah they were pretty uh, slow and then just sent it um, pretty pretty gassed pretty gassed pretty tired very very proud of everyone Emily Lowry Emily came third awesome she's so awesome the women relay at this point we think silver we think we're second silver. we were third now we're second Men's who knows so definitely most successful trip so 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 happy I'm so proud so apparently more appeals are going on, the boys with their medals, but we're still waiting. Don't really know what's going on. Making team photos, which is good fun. I can't believe Cardiff University might have a medal. Oh, wait, I gotta go. Bye. We came third. Anyway, that's the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed another Bucks Indoors vlog with the team. We smashed it! It's more, it's more interviews to come at the service station. Oh, potentially more interviews. We absolutely smashed. I'm so proud of everybody. Best team result we've had so far. Anyway. Love you all, and I'll see you for a new video very, very soon. <laughs> Hello, Tom. We're ready. It's the post comp McDonald's. It's in full swing. And you know what's coming up? Milkshake interviews are back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're the the vinegar interviews. didn't work. Milkshake interview 2.0. I'm here with the future club president. He's told me he's going to apply for club president next year. Josh Smith. Josh is uh, very kindly offered to do a summary of today's event, so can you talk us through the success of the club? First of all, we saw a masterclass from James Hennigan in the 3K as well. Johnny Knox in the 200, almost through to his final, but still didn't break 22 seconds to 200, so poor from him, but we wait till Bucks out. Broadwood. Then after the 3K masterclass, we had Emily in the 1500. Emily ran really well in the 1500. Beat her, beat her sister as well, <laughs> and came third. Then we had ladies, four by two. We did really well, we ended up, it was a bit dodgy, but we, end, we thought we could have won, but we ended up third. But let's oh, let's well. have a bit of a better summary than that. The women on track finished for, there was some, frankly, disgusting cheating by Birmingham University. It makes us feel it, sick. Honestly, it, it makes me feel sick. Horrendous. And rightly, they got DQ. And then followed by, follow up, we did 4x2 for the men. We had a solid, finished in a solid sixth place, which got graded to four, so well done, guys. <laughs> That's it for today. I've been dropping it, it needs to change anything. This is a new segment, the double milkshake interview. We, I, I'll come to you live with some breaking information regarding Fraud Watch. Would you care to explain? Yeah, so for the last three days, um, me and my assistant Johnny Knox, we've been interviewing and looking about Apex fraud. Um, we think there was a lot of frauds at Bucks this weekend, so we really wanted to uh, you know, set the bar high and expose as many people as we could. Mm -hmm. So um, essentially the way Fraud Watch works is you have to do everything perfectly. Um, yeah, and so essentially you could have won Bucks today and run a world record, but if you're not hitting your times on Tuesday, you're back on full watch. Um, so basically everything you do it has to be perfect, otherwise you're a convicted fraud. 
and it's always guilty until proven innocent. Thank you, thank you. So, who's on fraud watch? Who's on fraud watch? Um, unfortunately, I have to put myself on fraud watch for not make the final. Um, BBTC interviews coming very soon. I was talking a very big game in all of them. Um, I think I predicted a 3.19 with a 19 second last 200 meters. It's bold. We'll cut the interviews out and you'll see some of the most finely picked excuses out there. I might not have made the final, but I'm definitely number one for making excuses for why I didn't run well. Um, Johnny's on full watch. Yeah, I'm on full watch. I'm on PB, but I'm still on full watch. He's still on full watch because he said he was going to go sub-22 and he didn't. Also, he said he was going to do a 25 minute run with us on Friday and he did 20. So that automatically puts him on full watch. Uh, so I say we're the That's probably why he raced so badly. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, the, the long one was too long. He actually did a year's worth of mileage <laughs> in one day, which was pretty impressive. Thank you. Emily Lowry. A bronze medal in the 1500 meter women's race. Yeah. Um, you said to me it was a quick race. Yeah, it was a quick race. Two girls took it out. They are a little bit quicker than the rest of the field, but uh, let them go. Just thought I'd stay calm. Then, yeah, picked it up from there. It was, picked it up from there. Yeah. And it was a nail-biting finish. It was. Last nearly got meters. screaming from a um, Did you know that the girl was on your back? I did, yeah, but it is a 1,500 metre race and not 1,550 metre race, so she left a bit too late. <laughs> and will you be putting in a request for the HPP programme? I will, yes. Yeah. So Come crap. on. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I'm not into it. Yeah, <laughs> now sorry. we're with Henny Dog, uh, the winner of the men's 3k race. Thank you. Uh, back to back Bucks uh, gold medals for Henny Dog. Did you walk into this race feeling more nervous, more excited? Talk me through it compared to the 500 last year. I mean, I definitely felt more melancholic. Melancholic? I'm definitely a bit melancholic. I felt there was a lot of onomatopoeia going into this weekend. Oh really? Yeah. How so? A... What onomatopoeia? I'm not going to lie, I can't remember which one onomatopoeia is. <laughs> the one which sounds, the word that sounds like what it is, like bang or zip or zap. Well, that's the thing is I had a lot of zip. There's a lot of zip, it was very zip. zippy. Bit of um, booming, bit of... Tactical race. Now this man, you've been working his speed. We've all known that you've dropped a sub 50. Yeah. It really came in handy today, didn't it? Well, you know, it's like I've always said, when life gives you pears, you make apples. <laughs> And on that very confusing <laughs> note, we will surely leave this interview. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Proud of you.